Hello everyone. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Ryan and today I have a special how-to video of how to come out as transgender to your teacher slash professor. This is going to be for those people who are maybe starting college soon or they are starting a new year at school, whichever it is. It would really help to do this so that way you are comfortable in the classroom setting and you are addressed as you want to be addressed in order for you to learn and participate and just feel happier in the classroom. I know that it could be pretty intimidating coming out to your teacher because you are afraid of the response that they're going to give you and some people don't like to face rejection and I'm one of those people. It's okay. So one of the things that you could do to make it easier for you to be in a more comfortable environment in school is to send an email, which is what I did. Now, it could be kind of tricky sending an email because you need to be professional when you're talking to a teacher or a professor, but you also don't want to seem unreal because you need to be real to them. You're a student and you're doing this so you can be comfortable, so you need to do it right. So I'm going to give you guys like a little template for sending an email. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I put and I'm going to also show you the responses I got because they were very good. The first thing that you need to do is find your teacher's or professor's email if you have multiple. And the way to do that if you don't already know what it is, is to go to your high school's or college's uh, staff directory. And in there they should have, if not a phone number, then they should have the email. Once you find the email in the directory, you can start your email. So I have my laptop right here and I'm just reading off what I put and I'll also put pictures. This is going to be kind of professional, so you need to put dear professor or Mr. or Mrs. depending on who is teaching you. And I started out with introducing who I was. So I put, my name is Ryan Flores. I will be attending your course blank on days like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays depending on what it is again. And then I put the time this fall. And you put what class you were going to have that teacher in. So for me, because I'm in college, I have multiple professors. So I sent an individual email to each professor with their own specific name and the time that I go to that class and the course's name. This will help your teacher or professor just be aware of your situation and who you are. After that, I started to explain my situation. So I put, I am transgender and I have not yet legally changed my name. You can modify this template. I mean, it's not like you have to do it like this, no. Because I know people have different situations, not everyone's going to be in my position, and yeah, so adjust it to what is correct for you. I continue to say, on your roster is my legal name, blank. I would greatly appreciate it if you referred to me as Ryan and use he slash him pronouns when referring to me. And the last thing I put is, thank you for your understanding, and I look forward to starting your course next week. Sincerely, Ryan Flores. So it's quick, it's brief because professors are going to be getting a lot of emails the week before or of that class's start. So you don't want to make your email this gigantic, you know, biography of your life because they're not going to have time to read that. So you need to get straight to the point and be polite, use formal language, complete sentences, correct grammar and punctuation. It's just really crucial that you put a lot of consideration into these simple things if you want to be taken seriously. But like I said, I did that for all of my classes and I was made I made sure to put the correct times and the correct course when I was writing it. If you are trans or non-binary, it's important that if you want to do this, if you want to notify your teachers or professors that you do it before class starts. It's just really easier on your professor. If they do not respond positively, then you need to take a copy of that email and go to your dean or the LGBT resource center of your campus and tell them that you are concerned about discrimination in the classroom. 
and they should be able to help you. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the positive responses that I got and hopefully it will encourage you to go ahead and do this for yourself because there is no reason for school to be more painful than it is. You should be treated and addressed as the way that you want to be. One of the professors said, Hi Ryan, I have made all of the changes on my roster and will be sure to fulfill your request. I am looking forward to this semester. See you tomorrow. And that was from my H comm teacher, Human Communications. And now I have two professors for my theater class. And one of them said, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in class. So a lot of the responses are brief, but that is totally okay because like I said, they're going to be busy. And the fact that they're emailing you back is just a great sign. My other theater professor said, hi Ryan, thank you for letting me know. Look forward to having you in class. See you Wednesday. See, because a lot of them just really appreciate getting the heads up before class starts. And that is why you really need to do it as early, probably like a week before, I think is a really good time slot to do it. And now for my biology professor. This one was a little bit longer than my other ones, but it's okay because she says, Hi Ryan. Thanks so much for letting me know ahead of classes. Just to give you some advanced warning, we will be talking about biological issues that people have seen in the news. Given all the media attention Caitlyn Jenner has received, it's entirely possible that someone will ask a question related to trans issues. If you feel uncomfortable at any time, please let me know. I completely understand how difficult it can be as you transition and I'm happy to support you in any way I can. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. That one I really like because she let me know about the possibilities of other people bringing up the topic. And she kind of left it open to me to decide whether if that topic came up, whether I would be okay or not okay with it. For my last one, my mathematics professor. His was very short. He said, hi. Please remind me of this today in class, thanks. So that one doesn't seem as positive as the other ones were, and that might scare you if you get a reply like that. And I was scared. But if they tell you to see them in class, do it. Because I did, and it was very good because he just wanted to see my face and know who I was. He just wanted to meet me, and he's an older professor, so he's not really into technology. And that might be your situation too. You might have an older teacher or professor who doesn't really want to get into emailing students back, but they do care and they will help you. So I think doing these emails is really helpful, especially if you are trying to be stealth in your school and on campus. Because on the roster, if they change it, it will say your preferred name and they will already be calling you by your name off the bat and using your preferred pronouns. And that's gonna help everyone else jump on board. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I really hope, why am I so red? Oh, okay. Yeah, since, since I started tea, I've been getting like little like heat flashes, so I get really hot. But anyways, I really hope that this helped those of you who are wanting to come out to your professors and just want to be a lot more comfortable in the classroom. And I can tell you that this has helped me so much and I'm really glad that I did it and I'm going to keep doing it for the rest of my years here at Cal State Fullerton. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about the email and even anything else pertaining to that, but go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll answer them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And hope you guys share this video with someone that you think would be interested in this. And yeah, hope this goes well for you. As far as my transition, I know that some people are looking forward to hearing about the changes. And I am planning on getting to that, but I want to do like... I want to do that monthly because I feel if I do it every two weeks I'll be just saying the same thing and I won't have any new information to tell you and you're just going to be really bored and I don't want that. So yeah, monthly. Right now it's going pretty good and I feel a lot happier. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me 
on my social media, which is down in the description. And I just got a Snapchat. So I'm snapping everybody and doing the whole story thing. I'm new to it. So yeah, if you want to see what my life is like, I guess on a daily basis, go ahead and add me as a friend and we'll, we'll snap, snap, snap. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.